Hi, I'm Ron McGill, naturalist here at Zoo Miami and Nikon ambassador. And today, we're in the wings of Asia, one of the greatest Southeast Asian aviaries in the world. And our hope is to get some great shots of some incredible birds. The first challenge is actually finding the birds. You'll come into an aviary like this that is home to over 500 individual birds. You may hear them all around you, but when you first come in, you're a bit overwhelmed, and it's hard to actually start individually spotting them. But when you do, that's when you can focus in, that's when you can hone in on the animal, and you can say, okay, how's the lighting now? What's the location? Where are the leaves? Where are the branches? What's the background look like? There's so many things that have to come together, but the challenges are what make it such a great reward when you can get that shot. Today to photograph birds, we want to be using the Nikon D7200 body combined with the AFS Nucor 80-400 f4.5-5.6 to lens. And on top of that, additionally, I'll be using the Nikon SB910 Speedlight. This is a great combination of photograph birds for a couple of reasons. First of all, the body enables you to get about six frames per second in burst. That's fantastic because birds are always moving. You want to capture those behaviors. The lens is great because it gives you great versatility. You have birds coming in and out, moving away, moving close. To have that zoom range, that 80 to 400, is just fantastic. You can go from an intimate portrait to a wonderful, almost environmental shot. I always leave the speed light on my camera. Though I might not use it all the time, you never know when the conditions rise where you say, boom, I need that little pop of light, I need to get that refracted color, there it is. Once you found the bird, that's the first step. Now comes the patience. Now comes waiting to see how the light is working, seeing what the behavior of the bird is. Birds do different things at different times of the day. Early morning, they're gonna be feeding. Mid-afternoon, they might be resting. Late in the afternoon, they may be singing. And that's when you have to come in and sit and wait. I often like to use the optional battery grip for a few reasons. First of all, it feels better in my hand, but it also gives me extra battery power and it facilitates me taking that vertical shot. Remember, the Greek translation of photography is literally painting with light, and that's exactly what we're doing here this morning. Amazing. Every single eyelash, every brilliant color, just popped with that speed light. It's a beautiful thing. This morning we were able to get a lot of great images, but some of the ones that really stick out were the Victoria crown pigeon. It's got this great ornate crest of feathers and that blood red eye. And when that early sunlight just hitting it on the side, kind of modeling it, take a little fill flash from the speed light, it's like a painting. It's all about waiting. It's patience. An animal is going to do its behavior naturally. You have to be ready when it gets in the position that you want to hit that shutter. But when it happens, the light's right, the position's right, it's pure magic. When photographing animals, I love to photograph wide open, using the aperture priority. However, there are times when I'll close it up. If I know a bird's going to fly, I need that depth of field. It all depends on what you're trying to get. And only practice and experience will dictate for you in the future how you do it. What I want everyone to take away from this segment is this. There are birds everywhere. They're in your own backyard. They're in your national parks. They're in the middle of the city. Get outdoors. Get yourself some exercise. Get a camera in your hand and look at this beautiful world that we live in. And preserve those images with your camera. Trust me, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, you'll look at those images and you'll smile, realizing how lucky we are to be surrounded by such beauty.